Welcome, everyone. Uh, thank you so much uh, for coming to uh, Stoicism Today 2014. Uh, on behalf of all the team, we really wish that you have a, a useful uh, and uh, wisdom-filled day and you really enjoy it. Um, this is, I think, the largest gathering of Stoics or, or fans of Stoicism for 2,000 years, uh, poss po possibly ever. Um, so I'm interested in philosophy as a yoga teacher um, and I'm quite interested in mindfulness and I've heard that Stoicism and mindfulness have got a lot in common, um, so I'm hoping to find out a bit more about that today. Last year, Stoic Week had about 2,400 participants, and they were working from a PDF file that could be downloaded from the Stoicism Today website, the WordPress uh, blog, uh, and that was a big success. I mean, you know, maybe we understate that in some ways because of our Stoic temperament or whatever, but you know, we're not whipping in a yeah, bit. 2,400 people is a, a lot. You know, it's, it's phenomenal, really. Um, so maybe we should blow our own trumpet a little bit. This year we were kind of interested to see whether the interest began to wane or if it was growing and, and we've pipped it. We didn't get as much media coverage but we have 2,650 people enrolled in the course. We were quite pleased when we passed up boundaries and we can now say it's bigger this year than it was. That. We're going from strength to strength, people. I think once I became interested in it, I started to see it everywhere and actually as I reflected on my life I started to see it, um, elements of, 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 I would say, a stoic philosophy in my life from how I was brought up by my parents to school to, to going into military. So um, I think once you do become interested in a subject and really start to research it or take it up as a almost like a passion or a strategic direction you do start to see it everywhere I think I do relate to it I don't I've read about it and I I don't like strictly try and practice it but I do think I relate to it in some ways um, like in relationships and things like that I'm a CBT therapist and I've had a long interest in Stoicism. Um, practice it on a regular basis, teach it, uh, so I thought I'd come along, obviously. I was just generally a little bit interested in, in philosophy as a whole and I went to one of the earlier philosophy sessions a couple of months back and I bought Jules Evans' book and I guess that's what kind of got me started and starting to look into it. So it's the first time I've been to a session like this. I think, uh, I mean, being a therapist myself, obviously, kind of, I've had therapy myself, and it's the one that's been the most productive for me. The one that really kind of makes sense, is helpful, productive, all those sort of things. Uh, everyday kind of adversities, you know, what's within my control, what's outside of it. I'm interested in the, um, the way you can apply it to your own life. I'm, I'm interested in a little bit of Buddhism and about you know, different ways of defining some kind of life philosophy. So I'm not really locked in on a particular approach. So at the moment I'm very much grazing, if you like, and I found this a, a good start to that. I think in a way Stoicism is always useful, but I think today there are a lot of people who feel they need more of a framework in their lives. Uh, religion and community are not, politics are not providing these. I think there's a lot of people who, who want a, 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 a pathway and Stoicism can offer that larger framework. It's not a religion, but it, it fills, fulfills some of the same role. I've done the course, the Stoicism this week course, sort of implying that and sort of following the meditations each morning and evening. That's been really, really helpful. Must have been Google. <laughs> the kind of doing the different monitoring of yourself in terms of your own reactions to different things, so not reacting maybe the way you're getting frustrated as much as you might if things aren't working out, or you know, kind of being able to step back and why am why am I reacting that way, and kind of you know, being able to check your own irrational thinking sometimes and your own.
kind of emotional responses to life circumstances, what I can control, what I can't control. We're delighted that so many of you have come today, have entered so fully into, into the, the spirit of the day, and that you feel that stoicism can be a part, a part, of, a part of your life. So that's, that's terrific. So uh, thank you, thank you all of you.